Hello everyone, Trevor Tiger here, and I'm going to do a reaction video of Darth Vader vs. Doctor Doom. I'm not going to go into like a five minute monologue about who I think it should win. That's really pointless, considering Death Battle will go into far more detail than I ever will. But uh, in my fanboy opinion, I think Darth Vader is probably going to win this. Can't beat the Sith Lord. Unless he dies. Roll the clip! These two masters of evil are experts at bending others to their will, but beneath the mask lies the scars of their past. Literally. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, and Doctor Doom, Sovereign Ruler of Latveria. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Darth Vader. A long yeah, ago, play that Imperial March. Away, this masked murderer was one of the most dangerous and respected killers among the stars. Nobody stood a chance. He was a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> but before he was a Dark Lord of the Sith, he was Anakin Skywalker, an innocent child sold to slavery on the harsh... An innocent child played by a god-awful actor. ...a prodigy mechanic, a prodigy pod racer, and a prodigy Jedi. So I'd say the junk dealer who bought him got a pretty sweet deal. You know, apart from the whole ownership of people mm. thing. Then Liam Neeson showed up and measured his power level to find out that this kid was the chosen one! Destined to Obi-Wan, what does the scouter say about his force level? Whatever it's over 9,000! Freed from slavery and trained under Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin grew into an extremely powerful Jedi, capable of lifting starships and crushing buildings with just his mind. Huh. He quickly rose through the Jedi. You don't see that in the animated top, shows. And led the legendary 501st Legion in the galaxy-wide Clone Wars. He also grew into a really arrogant and whiny douche. It's all Obi Wan's fault. He's holding me back. Naturally curious to an extreme, the, two, vast potential the bane of, of the franchise. Intoxicating to Anakin, unable to accept loss and pain, Anakin sought new powers to fix his problems. After a premonition of his pregnant wife's death, he decided he had no choice but to turn to the dark side of the Force for answers. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Despite being oh, trained in the Jedi pacifism, I love the Emperor in that movie. He was really freaking good at killing people and murdered nearly the entire Jedi Order. His punishment? Darkest scene. Break up with his old in master and a one of the darkest. Pool of lava. Any movie, hands down. After some intense reconstructive surgery, he was rebuilt as the black cloaked Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader. Love that music. If there was anything you hated about Anakin before, don't worry, Vader is nothing like that whiny little prequel bitch. He's a <laughs> badass through and through with one of the coolest voices of all time. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Mufasa! His body was sustained by his dark armor, a mobile life support system designed to protect what was left of him and intimidate Serial him. number? What? His vision, hearing, and physique. I want to see with the previous robot, models of that. Dozens of feet and lift several hundred pounds, all without having to use the force. The armor is even dense enough to deflect lightsaber blows. Unfortunately for Vader, his new body had several problems. The armor was cumbersome and weighed him down. Much of it was mismatched, snagging and pulling on his body. Mm. His incessant raspy breathing often kept him awake. His synthetic skin itched constantly, and the control panel on his chest would sometimes beep for no reason yeah, at all. Yeah, if he had to hear... Over and over again, I'd go crazy. I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's very likely Vader's Sith Master, knowing his new student could become more powerful than himself, included these faults on purpose. Do While it. it caused problems for Vader at first, he quickly grew accustomed to his suit's limitations and modified his fight. I wonder when the Emperor is going to appear in a death battle. And He's just such a fun guy to see. Vulnerable to electric overload, should the worst happen, he can use the Force to sustain himself for several hours. Huh. Very useful. Vader wields a dual phase lightsaber. Unlike normal lightsabers, which are already cool as shit, Vader can manually adjust his to double its length. But huh, if it lasts really? for more than four hours, he needs to consult a doctor. All too easy. 
With his unmatched connection to the Force and training in both Jedi and Sith arts, he's learned a variety of techniques. He can deflect energy blasts with nothing but his hands, anticipate his opponent's next moves, and increase his speed and strength. And though his mechanical limbs cannot channel force lightning like his master, he can condense and launch a ball of electricity called kinetite. What? And he can always use telekinesis to lift people up and choke the ever living hell out of is, them. Is that, that canon or is that just expanded universe? Deal with an annoying co host. You don't know the power of the dark side. Using the dark side of the force, Vader embraces his passion and rage in battle complimenting his extremely offensive fighting style. The angrier he gets, the deadlier he becomes. He's defeated so Hulk? Jedi masters, including Obi-Wan himself. Darth he Hulk. secret apprentice Galen Merrick in force combat, who is powerful enough to move star destroyers, and killed a doppelganger of Darth Maul by impaling himself. Damn, that's dedication. And finally, after discovering his long lost son, Vader had a change of heart. He rescued his son by sacrificing himself to destroy the Sith once and for all. Or at least until the next movie comes out. <laughs> Vader is impressive. Most impressive. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. You're grounded, son, and there's nothing you can do. Doctor Doom, master of science, sorcery, and his own country, Doom is undoubtedly one of the most dangerous villains in the Marvel multiverse. I mean, just look at him. He looks like death itself. But before he was Lord of Latveria, Victor Von Doom was a gypsy. His really? Was a highly intelligent doctor who died of frostbite, and his mother just so happened to be a satanic witch who accidentally sold her soul to the devil. Poor orphan Victor was determined to master both science and magic to honor his parents, and he did. By secretly combining huh. technology and sorcery, you don't see that in any of the Marvel movies. With a number of Yet. miraculous inventions, including a robotic duplicate of himself dubbed a Doombot. And <laughs> get used to seeing those things. I mean, like every time Doom has been killed, it turns out it was just a Doombot. This isn't Doom at all. A Doombot's gonna appear in the battle, isn't it? Calling it now, Doombot. It's a complete fake. He eventually developed a machine designed to take him to and from hell itself to rescue his mother. But it blew up in his face. No, like, really, it blew up in his face. After the accident, despite his only injury being a single scar, Victor was horrified. What? That the always perfect face had been. He taken. got a scar. Victor ran away. It became to the evil. Mountains. And ended up joining a group of Tibetan monks. single ice god. Put them to work, build My them face is ruined, so I must take over the world! And hide his face. What? He was so eager to get the damn thing on that he put on the metal mask before it cooled down. Yeah. Messing up his face even more. This armor magically severed his physical connection to the world, shielding him from the nightmares and transforming him into a cold engine of logic. Thus, he huh. took the name Doctor Doom. It's pretty awesome origin, actually. Call me Doom. With his new armor, Doctor Doom soon conquered his home country, Latveria, claiming the throne for himself. Is he really a doctor? Well, he was expelled from college, but he just gave himself a Latvian doctorate once he was running the country. So technically, yes. What a cop out! <laughs> Those of us with degrees had to work hard for our doctorates. You here want to talk? Yo, uh -huh, check it out. Got it in poultry science, specializing in the frying. I sit corrected. Oh, holy shit. Anyway, Doom's armor is mostly made of titanium, but there's way more to it. With it, he's strong enough to lift buildings, survive blows from Thanos' infinity gauntlet, and what? shot the Incredible Hulk. Plus, it has a force field, what? boosters, and energy blasters. And also a molecular expander, which can... No one simply one-shots the Hulk. Andy for turning tiny pebbles into giant boulders. Maybe I should look into this science thing. The armor also has numerous methods of energy absorption and manipulation, giving him complete control over all sorts of machinery. It might just be the most overpowered suit in comic history. I mean, <laughs> it even has pieces of the true cross to protect against Dracula and other what? enemies. It not only increases his physical strength, but also his magical abilities. What? Teleportation, mind transfer. So he graved Rob Jesus to give protection from Dracula? Yes, said centuries. 
Doom time traveled to okay. the days of magic and learned all he could before returning to the present the normal way by waiting. Oh, what? Yes, I think I'll be immortal today. <laughs> but as possible as his armor is, Doom's still a badass without it. One time, Doom found himself stranded on another Earth, buck naked after being switched with his arch nemesis, Reed Richards, by a celestial. Uh, long story. Anyway, he gets attacked by a lion, which he straight up killed with a single punch, then turned it into a pretty sweet suit. Under Doom's rule, his country let Varia prosper. Its people loved their new dictator, though the rest of the world was of a different opinion. Probably because he keeps trying to conquer it all. Well, whether Doom is a bad guy is a bit up for debate. Sure, there was that one time he sacrificed the woman he loved to hell and had her skin turned into leather armor he wore, but what? the time Doom's top priority was actually... I've known I said that a lot, nation. but... And he eventually what? pulled it off. With that off the list, Doom did what any magically powered titan of science would do. He went time hopping to the future. Doom explored thousands of possible future timelines, and what he saw convinced him he needed to take over the world. See, Doom truly believes he must conquer the world, as that is the only possible future freed from suffering and want. And huh. he's kinda right. I mean, even the Panther God of Wakanda backed him up. And that guy looked There's a like Panther a God of future. Wakanda? However, despite his overwhelming I power do hope that makes an appearance in the Black Panther Doom movie. extremely arrogant to a fault. It's ridiculous! I can't even count how many times Doom had world domination within his grasp and then dropped the ball. I mean, one time he stole the godly power cosmic from Silver Surfer and still lost because Mr. Fantastic so tricked him into did he become into a Doom power Surfer? Sucking force field. Dr. But Silver. Dr. Doom could just keep his ego in check, nobody could ever stand in his way. Your plan to destroy them has failed, Master. Failed. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So it's time for our death It sounds like Doom has the upper hand in a lot of cases. Definitely a bigger variety of um weapons and talents. I still keep hope up for Vader, but starting to look like a Doom here, though. I apologize, I shouldn't have been so hasty to begin. An unwise decision. <laughs> Kill steal. <laughs> and so it begins. Don't underestimate the power of the force. Come on, Vader! Oh, yeah. I hate that move. It is so cheap. Wow! K.O. too easy. Oh, I was a doom bot. Why did I call that? Well, that did nothing. Beware my power. What the hell? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> oh, they traveled in time. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Oh, 
Come on, Vader, I still got some hope for you. Enough. Hmm. It is pointless to resist. Oh no. That freaking armor. I guess. Is it the armor? I I can't tell. You have no hope! <laughs> HA! Denied! Oh boy, here it comes. I can feel it. Got you! Oh no. Vader? Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh well. Still a good fight. Powerful, certainly capable of obliterating a basic Doom bot. However, Doctor Doom himself is in a league of his own. Vader may be the chosen one, but Doom's experience mastering magic and science trump the Sith Lord. Plus, while Vader has proven his strategic prowess over two decades of experience leading an army, Doom has successfully led a country and then a whole planet. And of course, Doctor Doom's armor is absurd. Its magical barriers and separation from the physical world have protected him from reality warping and telekinetic attacks from the likes of Thanos and the Silver Surfer, whose power makes Vader's lightsaber and force choke look like child's play. Oh, Even crap. if Vader could get it's through true. that suit, Doom's mind is armored by his sheer willpower, preventing any of Vader's force power, mental reading, or manipulation. Unfortunately, Vader was forced to meet his doom. The winner is Dr. Doom. Well, that was a great fight. Even though Vader lost. Next Still good. Time on Death Battle. Alright. Who is it? Oh, looks like a 3D bat. No! 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 Oh no. Ready for a rematch? Nope! I'm just... gonna... Oh man. The comment section wall shall begin anew. And once the comment sections burn... We probably have to wait another 50 episodes for the rematch. Well, oh no, that was a good fight. Can't wait to see how they do this again. Well, until then, until the next video, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.